is a type of medicine that trains your body to fight any foreign agents. Plants are helpful for the ecosystem. It's an electronic device for storing and processing data. The nervous system is all the collection of nerves in your body. Yeast is a eukaryote. Welcome to Spectacular Science, where it's all about science, with your host, Akshay. Hey listeners, welcome back to this episode of Spectacular Science. I'm your host, Akshay. Flying fish. It just sounds like something that is from a made-up story, but flying fish are actually a real animal. Flying fish are a big group of species, and that includes many species of these types of fish, but what they all have in common is that they can actually fly in the air. That's right. I mean, it's more like gliding through the air, but we just shortened that to fly because that sounds way cooler. Well, anyway, back to flying fish. Flying fish use their amazing adaptations in order to be able to glide in midair and over the ocean. And they can glide up to 600 feet in one time. And they're able to do this because of some special adaptations they have. And they have reasons to do this, too. It's really amazing to see that. And that's why I'm taking you, listeners, on a deep dive into the science of flying fish and for that i'm actually gonna dive deep inside the water i got my scuba gear on already so let's take a deep dive get ready it's gonna make a big splash here we go okay now i'm in the water let's swim around to see if i can find a school of flying fish but before i get to seeking for some fish let me introduce you to the flying fish The unique fish called the flying fish is up here to soar over the water, but they don't actually fly by flapping their wings like a birds do. Instead, they jump from the water and use their fins to glide through the air. Flying fish live in warm seas throughout the world, and there are about 40 different species or types. Flying fish are usually less than 18 inches or 45 centimeters long, and the typical flying fish is deep blue on the back and the sides are silvery underneath. It also has a long, narrow body attached to wing-like fins, and some species also have fins on the underside of the body to help them glide even better. Scientists believe that flying fish fly to escape predators, And to do so, the fish first builds up speed underwater, and it folds its fins against its body while swimming toward the surface. As the fish breaks the surface, it spreads its fins, which act as wings, and it also rapidly beats its tail, which is still underwater. This lifts the fish out of the water and lets it glide above the surface. And some of these fish can go as far as 600 feet or 180 meters in a single glide. That is very far for this tiny fish that's only about 18 inches long, which is amazing. Okay, let's go swim through the water to see if we can find a flying fish. Okay, swim, swim, swim. Good thing I took swimming lessons before this. (gasps) <gasps> Wait, I see something. Are those flying fish? They have long, thin bodies and those wing-like fins. Yes, those are flying fish. Okay, let me try to follow them. Oh, no. I see a shark coming. Hopefully, this flying fish can escape. But don't worry, I'll have my anti-shark spray. And that'll keep me safe from sharks. But let's look at these flying fish. Look at them. Look at them go. They're swimming so fast. Oh no, I have to keep up with them. Wait, they're swimming so fast. Whoa! Did you see that? They are flying right now. They took off with their tails and now they're flying. I mean, more like gliding. But it's still fun to call them flying fish. Wow. Those are truly some of nature's superheroes. They can actually fly. And again, they've adapted in order to survive from shark attacks and other different types of predators that will try to eat them. And 
this adaptation, which is very unique to these specific types of fish, helps them do this. Okay, time to go back to the surface. Just swim up there. And okay, finally, we're on the surface. Wow, that was a very big adventure. The flying fish were so cool. Now, these flying fish are very lightweight, which is one of the adaptations that actually helps them fly. And obviously, these wings also help them fly. But we have to take a look at these fins, because these fins are very different from other fish fins. These fins are webbed, and they're very long and wide, which actually helps them catch air underneath. And look at their tails. Their tails also play an important role. Their tail is very aerodynamic, and they move their tail rapidly back and forth in order to launch them into the air. And their tail is basically their engine that helps them launch up into the air. And the wings, sort of fins, help them glide through the air. This is all so cool. Maybe I should make a flying fish suit that humans could actually wear. Well, I have to work on that at my lab. But before I go and work on it, let's review what we learned today. We learned that flying fish are a type of fish that are able to glide over the ocean water. They're able to do this using their strong tails, which propel them out of the water, and their long fins, which act as wings that help them glide over this amazing water. And they have these amazing adaptations in order to escape from predators that will be trying to eat them, like sharks, which we saw in the episode earlier. Good thing I have that anti-shark spray. Flying fish truly are amazing creatures, and this small fish that can be about 18 inches long can go for over 600 feet in one single glide. That is so cool. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Spectacular Science. Spectacular Science produced and hosted by me, Akshay J. Raman. Our theme song is by Charan Ramachandran. Special thanks to Varun Ramachandran. Please visit my podcast website, SpectacularSci.com, to find interactive activities, blog posts, articles, and all of our episodes. You can also find the link to sign up for the Spectacular Science membership, where you get lots of bonus content to keep you thinking about science. My favorite of those is the fact of the day, when you get a fun science fact every day. Sign up at SpectacularSci.com slash membership. Please follow or subscribe to this show on any podcasting platform or wherever you're listening right now. It really encourages me when you subscribe, and it means a lot. Thank you so much. I always love hearing from my listeners about science, and I just love interacting with my listeners. So please contact me at spectacularside.com slash contact or email me using the link posted on the page. Thank you so much for listening to this episode, and we'll see you on the next episode of Spectacular Science next week. Keep thinking about science.